Here's a dining tip from a restaurant whose very name describes what Destin really is. Dewey Destin's is named for the owner who's the great-great-grandson of the founder and namesake of Destin. As if that weren't pedigree enough, here's executive chef Jim Shira describing his relationship to Destin. My name is Jim Shira. I am a fifth-generation Destinian. Uh, my family, along with Dewey's family, we're all commercial fishermen, and uh, we are actually related in a weird kind of way. Uh, Destin's a small town, and family, family, and our uh, tree is kind of a corkscrew willow tree is the way I like to describe it. I love that. And uh, it's, um, it's part of our life. Seafood is our life. I uh, went to school right after high school, came back, we opened a couple restaurants. The restaurant is my aunt and uncle's old house, so it's more sentimental to me. And all the fishermen on the boats, they support us, the locals support us, and we're very grateful. I wanted you to meet the chef because it's easy to forget that Destin began as a small town and fishing village. And for those who live here, that's what it still is. Each fish is tagged by Gulf Wild with a small number and you can go online and actually see a picture of the fisherman who caught it and approximately where. It's filleted in-house and I recommend your choice of catch prepared grilled like you see the red snapper here. For a more extravagant preparation, I can't say enough about the dish that's simply called seared grouper. It's served with sautéed artichokes, shrimp, and it's finished with a lemon butter cream sauce that really demonstrates the training in France of the chef. Fried food is possibly the best seller here, and I'll tell you what, the hush puppies with little dots of jalapeno are exceptional. And that's my heartfelt dining tip from and about Destin, and I'll see you soon for more dining news here on Beach TV.